because we're so excited that it's done and it's going out on the road and um, it's leaving us today. So we thought we'd just sneak it in here. So um, this is called Royal Iris. And we might actually, oops, mom, I have a thing for you too. Okay. I'm dropping the, you want this? Mm -hmm. oh, my head might be in the way. Uh, we probably got to get the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. We probably just got to get the ladder. So, um, hold on. We got to put some ladders out so that the girls can stand on something. One here. This way. Joy, you might want to move yours Joy, back just a bit. Back, just even with her. What? So someone said, um, does that come in blue and white? So you can make I don't have a kit in blue and white, but we certainly can Joy, make down, it just a little bit. There you go. In cool. blue and white. We just haven't um, um, we don't have a kit made for that, but I'm sure others will. I'm gonna zoom this camera lens out. Just a little bit. It's a heavy quilt. Yeah. Okay. You guys can go ahead and put it down. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's heavy for them to hold up there for that long. But anyway, that's called Royal Iris. So Royal Iris is just published. And um, we have a lot of kits on the website in the purples. We have, a, I was able to find a few more pieces of fabric in the existing purple collection, or in the collection that's on the quilt, but I also have another purple version that's on there, and then we have a, um, a CAF version that's listed online too. So there's a few different options, and I know there's options coming from some of our certified shops as well and i'll show you how to find those towards the end of the presentation so now i want to talk about our collection called um forever and they're going to move some things around here and i'm going to jump over to um quiltster for a second so while they move some stuff so quiltster has so if you've never used Quiltster before, this is a play, it's got a marketplace associated with it. And there are a lot of kits available on Quiltster for, um, for you to look at that are created by not only Quiltworks, but lots of other sellers on the system as well. And I wanted to find all the kits that we currently have listed there for the traditions collection. Which I don't think and that's a problem. It so I just went really to good. Marketplace, so let's just leave where you're at. Quilt oh, Kits, yeah. and then in the search I typed in Traditions, and it pops up all of the quilts that are listed in the Marketplace right now out of the Traditions fabrics. And there will be more. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is you can also click on Fabrics, and Let's see if it's in here yet. Um, so right now there are fabrics. Yeah, we don't have it. They don't have it listed yet from Yoder Department Store. And they don't have the Traditions Collection listed yet in the system. But so I'm going to log in because I can show you. Uh, hold on. Let's go. So I want to show you where you can go to find the Forever Collection if you want to see more. You can look on the website for Timeless to see the pictures in more detail. Or if you have Quiltster, you can also click on Fabric Stash. And then you can type in Traditions. And it'll take you to the Fabric Collection. It might pull up a few more things. I don't know if there's other collections in here. Oh, there are. So let's narrow this down a little bit. So let's go to companies, we'll go down to timeless treasures. And then if we need to narrow it down a little bit more, 
then you can choose designer and collections as well. But it looks like that got it. So these are all of the fabrics that you can look at in the um, traditions collection. And um, another place you can find it, if we go to the Quiltworks website under products and Quiltworks catalogs, you can click there and scroll down and there is a catalog on um, our website that also has pictures of all of the swatches and a lot of the quilts and everything that we're gonna show you today. So definitely check those out. And I think we're ready to show off some quilts. Okay, so. so tell me which ones to start with. Well, let's start with, so I, let's just start with Red River Star. Okay. So that we need to, yeah, and so Red River Star is the quilt that's on the wall. This was made by Tracy Thompson, one of our certified instructors, out of the new collection. And Judy's got <laughs> an example of a kit that we put together. And what I want to show you guys on this is, so we originally designed this out of our Forever collection. And Forever was a cotton collection that we did with Timeless. And here is the original quilt. Oops. So what we wanted to do was create a fabric collection where we could get the fabrics from tradition or from forever, which was an original um, collection of um, cottons and also bohemian blues. And we could recreate the quilts that we did in those colorways out of a batik collection that was current and available and maybe around for some time. So this is the forever version. Okay, you guys can put that down. And then the one on the wall is you the one that we did out of the oh, um, cool. traditions cool. collection. So you can see very, very similar. Um, you get the same traditional overall classic look of a red and white quilt with touches of black. Um, so we're just, like, I'm just so excited with the way that it came out. The other thing that I might mention is Forever had 40 fabrics in it. And Bohemian Blues had another 40, 32, I can't remember, 32 or 40 SKUs. So those are big collections. But we were able to reduce the overall colors to get the same looks down to just 16 fabrics for the traditions collection, the new batiks, and then mix and match that in with some basics and some wallflowers. Uh, wallflowers is a product from Quiltworks, um, a fabric line from Quiltworks that has some basics and some lights. And this is one of the things that um, we really wanted to do was accomplish redoing all of these quilts with a smaller color palette. So we're gonna show you how that happened today. Um, so let's do, let's do Vintage Rose next. So we got, so there's that one first. So this is the Vintage Rose that we originally made out of the Forever collection. So this is a quilt that has been here for, I don't know, we've had this quilt, I mean, Forever came out eight years ago. Yeah. So just to give you an idea. So this was, and this is a technique of the month um, quilt. I think- It was quilted by Karen McTavish. This, yep, yeah, this is one of the um, quilts. It wasn't, it just was similar to the cover quilt. It wasn't the actual yeah. one on the cover, but, um, these, we did, we redid this in, so it's in that pile. It's like the third, yeah, there you go. So we redid that quilt out of the Traditions collection. And it was actually made by a certified shop owner named um, Lucy uh, from Granny Sassy Designs. And she did a great, great job on this. But as you can see, I mean, it's almost a carbon copy of the other. And she has kits, I know. And I know there are a few other certified shops that are carrying kits for it as well, I think. Uh, so that in Iowa said she would be carrying kits. And I know um, Stitch in Heaven has all the fabrics for it. So 
there are people out there that have all of these fabrics and can put together this kit for you. Um, the only thing is it's a technique of the month. So it has, it's licensed and it has to be purchased through a certified shop or as part of a class with a certified instructor. So that's Vintage Rose. Down. And that obviously is the queen size design. All right, what next? Uh, let's do this one. Let's do Harvard Lighthouse. So Harvard Lighthouse was also done out of tradition or out of the Forever collection, and this is the Forever version. And then I'm really excited after that. I love, love, love. So mom's got the traditions version as a kit sitting here. Um, and you can find those kits on the Quiltster Marketplace and also through, like I said, our certified shops. Um, so Harvard Lighthouse in forever, and then it's the top quilt there. Okay. From... You guys can just drop that on the floor now, and I'll give you the next one. <laughs> Their arms are going to get tired. So someone said, is that the one colorway in the box? So yes, we're going to talk about the box here shortly because we have a new product called a Quilt Works box, and the fabrics that we're showing you today out of the Traditions Collection are used in the red, white, and black colorway of... Tuscan Sunset. So I'll show you more of that here in a second. So this is Harvard Lighthouse out of the Traditions Collection. And again, like I just, I'm so excited about the way this quilt turned out. And that we got, they did such a great job getting, um, getting us the reds that had a slight gradation so that you can get this look of these points here in the Lone Star. Um, so it comes with four reds, four blacks, four white slash grays, light grays, and then four blues in the whole collection. So um, that's, let's see what else. Let's do, we can do the Lakeshore Hosta Queen next. This one's, that's Fire Island Hosta. We can show that maybe later. This one? Yeah. So this is called Fire Island Host or uh, Lakeshore Hosta Queen. And the one we're showing you now is the one that we did out of our blue collection called Bohemian Blues. So this one has been, this collection was released five years ago, six years ago, yeah. um, the year after Traditions. Yeah, so um, 2017, I think. Um, it's done. So one of the things about this collection is it had whites in it, but it also had like these antique um, beiges. And so we wanted to be able to recreate our blue and white collection, but also have the ability to use, it's the one on the bottom, to get that antique beige look. So you guys can let it down now. Um, so I'm going to show you the version that we did with, um, so this is out of the new Traditions collection. So um, it looks nearly the same and I am in love with this large print circle piece. Um, it just adds so much like movement and dimension to those background elements. Um, and I, this one was quilted, made by Carol. This one was made by a certified instructor of ours, Carol Hatton. And, and I'm trying, by I'm gonna pull this, Kathy, Kathy Armstrong. Kathy or, Solman. Yeah, and it's with our quilting design. So if I pull that forward, maybe you can see, it's got a an antique beige, colored batik so i we have in our you guys can put that down we have in our um, wallflowers collection which are reorderable basics through timeless we have a series of like so antique different. beige colored batiks i'm just gonna pull a few of them up here um, to kind of give you an idea so you can see kind of a little bit more of a close-up. So these are the ones that we pulled in with traditions in order to get that look. 
Um, and we have that. That's a digitized quilting design from, a, from Quilt Works. So if you are interested in quilting, that's, there's a design. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these antique kind of beige colors. So um, if I had a million cameras in this room, we could show you everything all at once, but I'm just gonna bring these up close to the camera. So you can see, like, these are all in our Wallflowers collection, and they are a great choice for getting that antique beige look with the um, blue and white collection. So uh, this is another one. This one is called the Summer Solstice Queen. Now we did change this one up a little bit with the new Traditions collection just because I liked the darker border on the outside a little bit better. So this was the original out of Bohemian Blues. I like quilted it. <laughs> there you go, Judy quilted that one. Oh, look, look, look. Hold on, Carrie said... We have this. Yeah, that's the new one, and we'll show you that in a second. Carrie said, is this still available as a kit? Okay, remind me which one you're looking at, because I wasn't paying attention when we moved on from that. So, this quilt was made by Donna Viao, who is a certified Here, um, instructor for quilt work. She's in the New York area, and we're going to show you... That one wasn't, but this one was. This is Donna's. This is Donna's, and this is the new version of the Summer Solstice Queen. And I think out she's of... teaching a class on it, isn't she? Probably. She does some online classes, so be sure to look. I, it looks like she's actually on, so she's on this string, so she could probably fill you in on if she has a class for this quilt. Um, but that's the new version of Summer Solstice Queen. It's very soft, yes, silly, and beautiful. Yes, it is. It just turned out great. And her quilting around the star was really, really cool. I don't know. We can maybe bring it here. You guys can let go. We'll bring it closer. Maybe you can see. Uh, Mom, move my way. There we go. You can kind of see those, the star points that come out from it. Um, that goes all the way around the quilt. So, um, so yeah, so we have summer solstice. And then we have, we, we couldn't make them all, right? Why not? <laughs> well, we did, I thought we did a pretty good job, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have, here, hold those. Eight patterns. <laughs> Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, do you want me to count them all, yeah, or are you doing them. just the blue? 17, no. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 patterns. So we have 23 red and white patterns or blue and white patterns that are, that Quilt Works has those on the cover sheet, and they are easily adaptable to this, to the Traditions collection. And then we also have this. We have a red and white book. And this has been around for a little while, so some of you may have seen it. But it has lots of ways to adapt our current pattern line into red and white quilts. So it's a fun little book. It has some beautiful pictures, um, lots of great projects. I also put in here, um, let's... Here, I want to show them before we go into the box. I let's see. I want to. I grabbed a stack of timeless. These are called Java Blender, so these are their basics. So timeless has um, 
a number of red, white, and blue basics, and those are all done out of the same dye lots as the um, Traditions collection. So there's lots that you can mix and match if you need to get a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. Uh, we've identified some fabrics in that catalog that tell you, so if we switch back to the catalog, I'll show you here. So on the front page, we've identified some of our favorite colors to mix in with these quilts, and there's even some more. So um, I'm just, I'm so excited about how well this whole collection transitions. We have, we don't have time to show you every single project today, but I did want to show you this one here. So this one is also in the catalog and it is called um, Winter Traditions. And we have the yardage to translate this pattern into the new traditions collection in the catalog. Um, the other one we have, we're gonna tear our whole room apart here, is this one. <laughs> so we can show that one. So we have pattern information to recreate Shattered Ruby. So this one's called Shattered Ruby. Um, and it looks like if I switch back over to the catalog here and we go to some of these pages in the back, you can see Shattered Ruby there. That's in the collection. Then we switch back to the quilt. It's just a great match. So Shattered Ruby. We have all of the quilting designs for Shattered Ruby, but this pattern is a beginner pattern. It is so easy to make. You can make it in a weekend. <laughs> You can. Yeah, you if can. you don't make mistakes. <laughs> um, and then Allison's Wonderland is another one that we have. And then we'll show you, after we show you this, I'm going to switch cameras. So this one's Allison's Wonderland, and there's information in the catalog for also doing Allison's Wonderland. So if I transition back to that, Flip to this page you can see it there in the corner and then you switch to the quilt here I mean it's such a great match for it we still have another red yeah red we have a couple okay. so we'll switch to those in just a second so I want to I'm gonna switch cameras here real quick and I might have to zoom out oh that went to the top okay so I'm gonna I gotta move this so that we can see a little bit better. So there's one on the wall there. That one there is called Daggered Medallion. It is also one that you can redo in traditions with the new fabric collection. So, uh, no, hold on. I switched them above. I thought I did. Janie, she's like, you didn't switch the camera. <laughs> okay, now we switch the camera. <laughs> so this oh pfft. there we go okay so <laughs> I bumped a button <laughs> we're not producers around here we're just having fun I guess <laughs> so that is called um, daggered medallion and again you can use our beige the the antique beiges from our um, collection of um, wallflowers to get this same look and that information is also in the catalog on how to kit that so we are gonna switch gears let's go back because I'm going to show you two more projects because we designed two more um, that are new patterns out of this group and one of them so Obviously with red and white and blue and white, that makes it so that you can make red, white, and blue quilts. So we have this Is that one's what you wanted? Yeah. So this one was made by certified instructor um Shell Everts for an event we did last year. And it has also um 
or it was quilted by Angela McCorkle. Um, she's out of Texas and it is called Star of Valor. So we published this one in November. Um, you'll notice it has no curved piecing in it. It's really not that challenging of a quilt to make. It all goes together in straight lines and it's the hardest part is just keeping track of which color to use in your points. Um, but it's a fun quilt of valor style quilt, red, white, and blue, very patriotic. Um, and easy. And easy to put together. Um, and then we have this one. This is coming maybe next week. We are waiting for papers to come, but the rest of the pattern is ready. So we have this design. And this is called Hocus Pocus. And we have the quilting design and I quilted it. <laughs> we have a quilting design. Judy quilted it. Janie's like, it's not published yet, but. <laughs> it's not. I'll get on it. Yeah. But anyway, this is Hocus Pocus. So it has a spiral. Um, it's a spiraled feathered star element. So basically what it is, is you have your A group right in here, and the A group, all of the diamonds change in size as you go out. And then you run the spiral into your B group, which comes in here, and you're basically, you're shuffling your fabrics, and then you have your spiral that goes here, and this is just a collection of, and it rotates around on your, and that is called the the hocus pocus. No, but what's oh. this mixer? Oh, crystal the crystal mistle. ball, crystal, yeah, crystal ball, crystal ball mixer. So there's three mixers, actually four, and then you have your border. Right. So we're excited for you all to. It's the other awesome thing is this quilt to do that center. The center circle section takes a half yard of eight fabrics and then you need your black your white and then your yeah black so accent it's, piece. it's a half a yard of eight fabrics out to here yep and then this is however this you is decide extra. to do that that's extra yeah um so it's a really great fabric to um a really great pattern for kidding it's fun to make um it's it Hopefully you'll learn a lot about our Lone Star designs and ways to adapt them for some other patterns. And I'll, someone asked, let's see, someone said, do you have the quilting patterns for the one with all the stars? So that one was quilted by um, no. Brandy Rayburn from, um, what is it's called uh, where the quilting place where quilts happen and you can follow her on yeah it's all custom Facebook quilting. that one was all custom quilting but we do have I'm gonna switch to it because we have one that we have not finished yet so we have one project that's not done yet it's on the quilting frame so I couldn't even bring it in and show you but see this polar compass here that's very similar to the winter traditions um, we did some updates to it and changed some of the blocks out. On the border only. Yes, yeah. but that is one that we can, um, but we will have quilting designs for that one. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to transition back. So someone said, what's the blue on the, so pull up that one. Yeah, so this pattern is called um, Diamonds in Bloom. And while we didn't do a quilt for this colorway, it's definitely one that you could recreate out of the Traditions collection. Um, you would probably have to get a dark, dark blue from the, um, from the Java oh. Blenders mm -hmm. group to do the outside piece, but everything else you could easily recreate this quilt out of the, um, Traditions collection and then and we just didn't have time to make them all but this is one of those designs and there's a quilting design for this one, so um, We don't have a kit for that one, but that being said any of the shops that are carrying this fabric 
they could kit they could come up with a kit for this uh, we just didn't have time to do them all this is another one that would be an easy one to adapt to new, the new traditions line this one's called riptides and then um, And Riptides was done out of a mini collection that was in blues, but it would be easy to adapt to the new collection. Um, this one's called Weathered Windmill. So also one of our, and this is in the book. So if you buy the book, then you'd have to buy the foundation papers and pattern to make this, but then the book explains how to adapt that design for the red and white look. Um, so that's called Weathered Windmill. This one here is called the um, Lakeshore Hosta in a wall size. So um, with the black and white and red, we did some cool ad adaptations to the background to make it look like that was kind of swirling around. Um, but that one could be easily redone. This is a tree skirt. So obviously the reds lend themselves nicely to Christmas, right? So I grabbed the um, tree skirt and this one's also out of red and white. This one's called Daggered, or um, Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher yeah. And it's not, um, the cover sheet isn't in red and white, but it's pretty easy to adapt it. We just chose red and white fabrics instead. And this one here is called uh, Dragon Star. And it's also in, it would also be very easy to do this one in the forever or in the traditions collection. The only piece that might not be that easy to reproduce is this red and white piece here, but you could easily add a different kind of white in there to get that look. I would probably add, if I was going to do that, I would use this piece here instead of red and white it's got like a gray and white swirl on it and that's out of traditions as well um once we let's see did we get all the oh so there's two more quilts here one uses the black and whites and we just want to show you that there's even more ways to use tradition than just the red and white quilts oh Hold on, there's one more red and white. We missed one. So this one is Prismatic Star. So normally we do Prismatic Star with a strip set. It is easily adaptable to yardage where you just cut your own two and a half inch strips. This information is covered in the red and white book. And so if you buy that book, you can buy the pattern and then see easily how to adapt it for yardage for this project. So. All right, now we can switch. So the blacks and whites in this collection also lend themselves very well to many of our rainbow designs. And again, we don't have the ability to make every quilt, but it would work great for macaw. Um, they look great in, um, you could do a great version of, um, alchemist crystals and there's one called rainbow crystals rainbow crystals uses a strip set as well so we used a strip set that we just released at the same time as this called eva's rainbow for those of you who don't know eva is one of judy's granddaughters and she likes the rainbow quilts the best so um anyway we created this sundial queen in the Eva's Rainbow collection and then added the rainbow colors on the outside. And all of the blacks and whites come from the Traditions collection. So it's just so versatile. Like the collection can be done, can be used in so many ways to make so to make quilt works yeah. designs that the, go on and on. We have the quilting design on the gal that was Jana, can you remember what her last name is? She just quilted it. Um, out of Washington yeah we can get you her name if you're interested so there's one more here that we did out of Eva's strip set we're gonna show it to you this is also one that's publishing here in the next um, couple weeks 
and it's called the Diamond Wedding Star. So transitioning into the Eva's strip sets and then using those rainbow colors and these feature all of the antique white um, fabrics, the antique beige fabrics from our uh, Wallflowers collection. Uh, this is Diamond Wedding Star. And I love the way this turned out. It was made by one of our certified shop owners, uh, Carrie McGee. Uh, going batty stitches and crumbs, she has online classes and she will be doing an online class for this as well. Um, as we get it published, we'll have more information about that in the um, pattern and in marketing information on the website for it. That also has a digitized quilting design that was done by Quiltworks. So, uh, with that, I think you guys can go. And I want to, we're going to move a couple things here. Let's move this table back under because I just want to give you guys one final glimpse of the collection. And then the last thing we're going to show you, or I'm going to talk about, is our Quiltworks box. So I'll just give Mom and I a second here. Um, so we have, we are so excited to be shipping the first ever Quiltworks boxes. So we designed these boxes. Um, we created two versions of the boxes. We created a small box and we created a um, large box. And that just means we did, so they're quarterly and there's four small projects and there's um, in the small boxes and there's one queen size project and the big box. So actually, leave the fabrics there for a second because we can give them. Well, I'm not going to take them off, so I'm going to slide them out of your way. Okay, I was just because then we can give them a close up of the fabrics laying oh, on the table. Oh, you want to do the fabrics first? Yeah. So we'll show that. Okay. So one of the projects in the book, actually two, one of the small projects and then one of the big box projects use the traditions collection so we're going to show you that um we're going to show you those details now so the first thing gosh i feel like i want to adjust this just a bit because the lighting is kind of washing out the fabric That's a good, no, go back up, back, back, back. Uh, there. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, so that's much better. So now you guys, sorry about that. <laughs> like I said, we only have so many cameras, so it'll switch back here in a second. So, um, so these are the fabrics and traditions, just to give you a close up. move them down so you can see there's four reds here and they have a nice gradation and then we have the four blues and you get a really nice gradation from dark to light there and then we have four blacks that have different textures Oops, I hit the sewing machine thing then we have the whites. So we have two that are basically white and two that are light gray here. And then these are part of our wallflowers collection, these last four, but they match this collection really well. So these are four new light blues out of our wallflowers. Um, and so they'll be around for quite a while. I actually hope Traditions is around for quite a while too. That's gonna depend on how popular it is to some degree, but 
Um, I just think it's so versatile that it could be used for so many different things. I thought you were going to do the back. I am. So now that you've seen the fabrics close up, I'm going to show you the box. So we have a couple projects in the box that are done out of this um, collection. So one is a seasonal table runner. So this is the first, so this is the first box, so Q1, for um, the small box series. And it has a table runner. Let's move that a little bit closer, see if I can get it centered. So it has a table runner that's done out of this collection. Um, and then if you got the big box, you can choose one of four colorways. And it also has one that's done out of the traditions collection. So this is kind of a, this is what, how the package comes. And this pattern, it's called Tuscan Sunset. This is what we'll be doing for the big boxes. So you, if you wanna get a sampling of the fabrics, if you wanna look at them and you wanna do a fun little project with them, this is a great way to see them. Um, a few more things about the box. There's this great Getting to Know Us booklet. So this book has um, information in it about our certified shops and instructors. And what's even more great about this is that there's little write-ups on each of them and they all have offered promotions and coupons and discounts. And so the small box is $112.50. The large box varies with group because there's a lot more yardage in the queen size border than there is in the center of it. So the first one's 108. They average to about 135 for the big boxes, but you'll get a new, a new book in every single one of the boxes. So it'll have new coupons in it the next time from different instructors and different shops. Um, it'll have other information in it about quilt works and our programs. So there's so much good information in here. And the book, this book itself is good advertising. And also for 112 Well, I gave 50. away four of them today to my upcoming new CIs. And they've already spent about four or five of the coupons in each book. <laughs> <laughs> and at shops that they want to go shop at so and the, it's so great because yeah, the other thing about it's it all is advertising you pay 112 for the box and, and they also get online classes with some discounts yes and like if you were to like Tennessee quilts here has 20% off any quilt works pattern expires 531 if you go shop with them you can save more on your kits then you can get, then, then the box costs you in the first place. So we have little notions in it. For this box, we have two glue sticks. And then there's a little piece of paper that gives you a calendar because the other thing that happens is Judy's gonna do a live workshop on everything that's in the boxes and it's all scheduled out for the year. And this tells you when you can tune in for your portion. Um, the fabric companies have also, uh, joined us in this process and given us little fabric bundles. So we are creating patterns now called Stash Busters. And this is just a little pattern. It has one, um, one newsprint is all it takes. And then you can make, let's see, let's see if you can see it. The, the table runner portion is what is included in this little bundle and all the fabrics for that are in it. So you can see there's two and a half inch strips and a series of squares that have been cut and that will make a little 12 by 36 inch table runner. There's also gonna be a little video on that project as well. So we're excited because the box really gives you guys access to, um, I probably can't put that together. So I'm gonna switch the screen back. The box really gives you guys access to so many things about Quiltworks at great prices. And if you haven't done it yet, we have- and You um, get a Solime pin, uh, glue stick, and you get some Yoohoo. And if you buy all four boxes, you get a free set of these. Yeah, you get a free set of the Eva strip sets. So I showed you a couple quilts that already use it. 
and kit, where to get kits and all that kind of stuff. So there's just, with the traditions collection, all of this kind of came together. Um, Mom is sorting out the strips there. Maybe I'll switch back and you guys can see that view. So this is Eva's strip set. You can kind of see it all broken down here um, by color, but that's the strip set that's in the boxes. So if you order all four quarters, then that makes you eligible for a strip set. I should also mention the other thing that's in it is Quiltster. You get a um, Quiltster subscription for three months as part of every box, um, which is also a great deal. So I think we calculated out the retail price of the first box um, on our Quiltworks Box Club. And I'm gonna switch back to the view of me. So since I'm the one talking to you. But we calculated that out. So there's a Quiltworks Box Club on Facebook that you can join if you wanna learn more. You can also go to box.quiltworks.com and you can order a box if you want to participate. And on the Box Club page, I just posted something and we have more coming out and it'll be on some other social media sites as well. But I think the first box was $108 and it calculated out to 167 or 165, somewhere in there, dollars. For retail pricing, that's before you factor in all of the discounts and the coupons in the Get to Know Us book. So I'm really excited about what's in there. I can't wait. I think it's a great thing for people who are new and I would love for everybody to check them out, um, to join us and learn a little bit more about it. And also I think it would be um, really fun to have you join us for all the classes. If you don't wanna do the box, you can just buy patterns and participate with us. Um, the Tuscan Sunset pattern will be published on our website in the next few weeks. All of the stash busters will be published. It's just that they come in the box and um, they come at a great price. And so if it's something that you're looking for and you want to have a great introduction with workshops and everything to quilt works, you can spend the year with us. Um, we're just, I, I'm so excited. I think um, people are just starting to receive their boxes as well. We had a few people post pictures of them and um, we hope that the rest of you join us too. So thank you so much for watching our little presentation here. Um, Goodbye. Are we done? I think so. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to switch back to this just so that you guys can see the strips because they're so pretty. <laughs> oh, I actually, I'm going to grab that, this quilt too. This is the kit. The... Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'll switch to that also. So she just grabbed the um, kit that we have for the Sundial Queen. So. It has a strip set in it and all of the matching fabrics. Um, so yeah, uh, that's everything for traditions. Thank you guys for joining us and we hope that you liked the presentation. You can tune in later if you wanna watch it again as well. All right, goodbye.